Okay, let's talk about taking animated uh, GIF files and putting them into a Google Doc to make uh, kind of living notes pages, living guided notes. So uh, if you're like me, you've made a lot of guided notes pages over the years, and um, in those guided notes, you've probably tried to explain or demonstrate some very intricate processes, uh, possibly in math or sciences, um, that really just don't lend themselves well to static images. Well, uh, with Google Docs uh, being web-based and having really most of the features of a website, uh, you've got a lot more options now than just flat images if you can share those guided notes pages with your students via uh, their Chromebooks through Google Classroom or uh, whatever device they might be on. So what we're going to walk through the process of is actually taking a, a short video file that maybe you created under your document camera or on an app like Explain Everything or Docere or Show Me, and we're going to turn those short video files into animated uh, GIF files. And then we're going to take those animated GIFs and we're going to put them into a Google Doc that we're going to use as kind of like a simulated uh, guided notes page. So uh, let's start with the process of turning a short video into a animated GIF. So I have my um, I have my short video files. They are right now inside of a folder in my Google Drive. And what I have here is just four uh, files uh, numbered by the step that I have them in the process uh, that I was trying to illustrate. And the process I was illustrating um, in this particular uh, video was creating an area model for multiplication and following through the process of using an area model to multiply uh, double-digit numbers. So uh, the first step in your process is going to be get a, to get your video files into uh, Google Drive. And once they're there, uh, select all of them. I'm going to select all those and right click on them all, and we're going to open with a particular app within Google Drive and that is Cloud Convert. If you don't have Cloud Convert yet installed inside of your Google Drive, uh, do that first. Go to the New button, the blue New button, click More, and then scroll all the way down until you see Connect More Apps. Once there, walk your way to uh, the search bar here and type in Cloud, I'm just going to type in Cloud Convert because that's what it's called. So don't type in anything other than what it's called. And then you see Cloud Convert is there. Instead of rate it, you'll probably see a button that says connect. Uh, click the connect button and you'll be good to go. Now, once Cloud Convert is connected to your drive, select all those files, uh, right click on them, and choose open with Cloud Convert. And what's gonna, uh, this is gonna be a really cool thing. This is really awesome. So this is a really awesome little application that allows you to convert pretty much anything to pretty much anything else. So if you have video files or image files or audio files and um, you know, a website that you're using doesn't take a particular kind, uh, you can certainly use Cloud Convert to convert those files over to a file type that works. Um, and what you see is, um, well, you see some things that I've already done before. So let me get those out of the way so they're not clogging up our area here. These are the four files that I uh, opened up. And I want to change these four files to be uh, GIFs, uh, GIFs or GIFs, depending on how you say it. Um, and those are um, basically a collection of images that move that are animated, almost like a flip book. Um, so I've got these things now. They are all MP4s, video files. I'm going to change all of those over to... Um, GIFs, which fall under the image category in Cloud Convert. So you go to image and then GIF, GIF or GIF. Click it. You see that change is there. It's ready to convert from MP4 to GIF. And I'm going to do that right now with this big red button, Start Conversion. So as the conversion goes, it shouldn't take too long. These videos are, are really short. So we're not going to worry too much about them taking a long time. Um, but while this is working, what it's doing is it's taking your video file, changing it over into an animated uh, GIF, and then saving that animated GIF back into uh, your Google Drive. So you don't have to worry about downloading these files and re-uploading them later. They all automatically save to Google Drive. And that's because they have a really cool feature down at the bottom of your screen that's uh, enabled by default. Save file to my Google Drive. So make sure that checkbox is always checked. And uh, it's going to do all that work for you automatically. So we're just about done. Looks like that I've only got a couple uh, seconds left before these guys are all converted. I'm going to let that keep working and uh, now we'll shift over to, there you go, now we'll shift over to adding them into our um, interactive notes page.
Once you have your uh, GIFs created, you can go about actually putting them into your uh, guided notes document. So we're looking at a guided notes page that I've made uh, for one particular chapter that dealt with uh, multiplying uh, larger numbers. And one of the areas that my kids often had the most trouble with was on how to create uh, area models. So I thought maybe it would be a good idea to take some of these more static images that I had um, of creating area models and turn them into animated pictures that maybe show a little bit more of what happens rather than uh, just give them that um, kind of flat static picture. So I have an image in there already, a drawing, and I'm just going to delete that. And I'm going to put in place uh, the actual uh, animated GIF that I want. So I've, I've got my cursor in that area. I'm going to go to the insert menu and insert an image. And from my images, uh, let's see, I think it's going to be recent, hopefully. Oh, maybe not that recent. Uh, here we go. Here's my uh, area model, my area model box. I think it's this very first one. I'll insert that right in that space. It's going to drop it right in there for me. And you'll see automatically that it just kind of starts to work and shows the animation. Okay, so there it is. And that's going to keep looping like that as long as... Um, well, as long as this document is open, that is going to be looping. Now, these uh, little GIFs can be uh, edited just like a regular image inside of a Google Doc. So I can crop that image down, too. So if I want to make sure that really all that shows up is that box, I can crop it down to just that those dimensions there. And that will actually let me um, make that a little bit larger as well and kind of magnify that just a little bit. So I have my first step, which is break your numbers down by their place value. My second step uh, here is now with my animated uh, GIF, with my area model being created. And now well, let's add another picture down here. So here I have the uh, numbers labeled on the outside of the box. I'll get rid of uh, this static image, and in its place I'll put an animated GIF again. So here we go, uh, insert image. And let's go grab uh, the next one. So I think that would be box two. And bring that in. And let's see if that's the right one. So now my box starts. Yep, and there we go. I'm labeling the area model with the numbers that I'm going to multiply. So there you go. So now we have more of a live view for the kids. And I'll crop that down to fit just a little bit better so I can make that a little bit more magnified uh, for kids who might need it a little bit bigger. And we'll just stretch those corners out. There you go. So now rather than having that kind of um, static experience with the this guided notes set, my kids can see something a little bit more active. Uh, they can kind of see what's happening, see exactly what I want them to do when creating an area model and labeling it.